Hey everybody, God bless it's USA Patriot here again with another wonderful prayer. It's a prayer of righteousness. It's a goal of the Christian life. Love you all with all my heart, soul, um, brethren, sistren. Love you so much. I just, after this last, um, attack and test from the Lord, I've just been very compelled now to, to, you know, just do more and more and even more because if it wasn't for what the Lord has taught me and being steadfast in the word and becoming the man that I have become in Jesus' name, I wouldn't have been able to survive this attack that came. And it's all glory and honor and praise to the Most High in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the wisdom and knowledge and strength to survive and endure. And thank you for your almighty power and almighty... Just, just thank you. And no words that I can ever... I can't put into words how much, how grateful, how thankful, and how much I truly love you. So with that said, righteous and just Father, you are the righteous, holy, merciful, and just judge. We worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you for your satisfying. Thank you for satisfying our every need in accordance with your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We love and adore you. We belong to you. You are our God, and we are your children. We love being in your presence and sitting at your feet, for in your presence in fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. We seek you with our whole hearts, and our deepest need and desire is to know, love, serve, and please you. We hunger and thirst for more of you, to know you, to love you, to serve you, to obey and please you. We hunger and thirst for, for righteousness. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5, verse 6. Father God, we pray to be filled with the fruits of your righteousness, love and faithfulness, meet for together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. F faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and the righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way up for his steps. Psalms 85, verses 8 I mean, verses 10 through 13. Please fill us with more of your spirit to full capacity and overflowing. Overflowing, Lord. In Jesus' name, please fill us with more. We pray that our love may be abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that we may be able to discern what the, is the best what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes, filled, that comes through Jesus Christ. To glory and praise our God. Philippians chapter 1, 9 through 11. Father God, we pray to be clothed in righteousness, love, humility, godliness, and gentleness. I counsel you, I'm quoting this, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in fire so you can become rich and white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and slave to put on your eyes so you can see those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. 
Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on his throne. Revelation chapter 3 verses 18 through 21. Unquote. Jesus Christ. We thank you for knowing. I meant end quote, end quote, Jesus Christ. We thank you for knowing our needs before we ask. It is our Father's good pleasure to bless and prosper his children. So, will not fret or work or worry. We will not fret or worry, for we have placed our trust in you. Thank you for your for positioning us in Christ Jesus within your kingdom, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but a righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Now, I'm quoting this. Again, it's in quote. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. End quote. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 33 and 34. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for leading us onto, this, onto the path of righteousness. You lived a modeled and a holy and righteous life for us to imitate and emulate with the help power and presence of the indwelling spirit we will continue to seek and pursue righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit thank you father god for your word which instructs us but you man of god flee from all this love of money and earthly possessions and pursue righteousness godliness faith love endurance and gentleness Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession, confession in the presence of many witnesses. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. Hallelujah! For the Lord Almighty reigns. We rejoice. We are glad and we give you glory. We accept and receive the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Revelation chapter 19, 7 and 8. He provided our right standing before you. Father, we know that we cannot earn our righteousness. We surrender and submit ourselves to the Holy and Righteous One, our first and merciful God. We surrender our will to your will, and we, will, we willingly lay it down and ask you to help us align our hearts, souls, and lives with your will, plan, and purpose. Thank you, Father God, for ruling and reigning in our lives, in our hearts, and in our families and homes. O righteous God, who searches minds and hearts, bring to an end the violence of the wicked, and make the righteous secure. You are the righteous God who probes minds and hearts. My shield is God's most high. My shield is God most high who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who expresses his wrath and judgments every day. Psalm chapter 7, 9, verse is 9 through 11. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord most high. Psalms chapter 7 verse 17. Father God, thank you for clarifying our righteousness. Jesus said to his disciples, quote, Blessed you are. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hung who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh 
Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil, because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in the day and leap for joy, because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how the ancestors treated the prophets. End quote. Jesus Christ. Luke. I mean Luke. <laughs> 6 verses 20 and 23. Thank you, Father God, for sending our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to justify us in him, to free us from guilt and blame through faith in Christ. Our righteousness is provided and available through our faith in Jesus Christ alone. Because of his righteousness, we are the children of the Most High God, and we are in right standing with you, Father God. We desire to live lives that are pleasing and acceptable in your sight. We no longer practice sin. And now, dear children, continue in Christ so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of him. First John, chapter, first John chapter 2, verses 28 and 29. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping us our help, excuse me for helping us keep our minds on Jesus. We, do not, we don't want to lose our focus. We anticipate his glorious return, for he is returning soon. Very. Holy Spirit, we pray to be blessed and kept until Christ's glorious return, for the grace of God has appeared that brings salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in his present age. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God, and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us and to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us to develop our skills and gifts in the word of righteousness. In fact, through by the, this time, in fact, through by this time, you ought to be teachers. You need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still as an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. Amen. Hebrews chapter 5 verses 12 through 14. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your model and pattern regarding your relationship with God the Father. Thank you for revealing him to us through the sinless life you lived on earth. Because of your example, we will never be ashamed of the gospel message. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes first to the law then to the gentile for in the gospel's righteousness from god is revealed a righteousness that is by faith from first to last just as it is written the righteous will live by faith amen romans chapter 1 verse 16 through 17 verses 16 and 17 thank you lord jesus your righteousness frees us from darkness and the grip of the enemy. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Ephesians. And that's for all you truthers out there, including myself, bless us in the name of Jesus. Let me read that again. Righteousness and truth. It says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light 
in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists of in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. Expose them. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 through 11. Be very careful then how you live, not as an unwise, but as a wise. Making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Ephesians chapter 5. Verses 15 and 16. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us and helping us understand the will of God. To be wise, to use available opportunities, afford us, and to be filled with your Spirit. We bless and worship you, O Most High, Majestic, and Righteous Father. We praise you because righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Love and faithfulness go before you. Psalm 89, verse 14. We thank and praise you for guarding and prospering our lives. You provide for us so that we may eat and possess the good of the land. We will forgive. We will forever sing praises to your high and holy name. We love you and adore you in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. And all the good men and women say, Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. I love you. And the days are coming short. Very, very short. I love you all. God bless you. And if I don't ever get to meet you, we'll meet in heaven. Amen to that.